Hey James, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoy in today's Pokemon Monday. We're gonna be talking about the release of Brilliant Stars. As you can see, here I have my Pokemon Center order. All I all of this I got at the Pokemon Center website. And before we get started, I want to say welcome to my channel. I'm Jose Yun Jung. And if you're new to my channel, here I'm going to talk about Pokemon cards as well as my makeup. And as you can see, I am wearing the new Dior Rouge Satin Lip Balm. It's going to... It's gonna it's gonna be like a regular pump bomb, but these are colored. There's this is gonna be the shade nine nine nine. You guys all know I love nine nine nine. Nine nine is my nine 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 is my favorite color when it comes to lipsticks. Their lipsticks, and I just decided to get the bomb. This is gonna be a set and bomb. It's gonna be very bombish, and I know they came out with a new formula of a matte, and I went and, I went and ordered it too. So I'm expecting that to arrive. And it's looking at some new shade, new, new lipsticks for the Velvet formula. As you can see, here's the casing for it. For it. This is in the shade New 300. Nude style. And I think this is a Velvet, right? I don't even know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Rouge 300, New style, Velvet. Can see here it is. I went to the floor today and I went and I just bought it. I think it looks beautiful. That is such a pretty color, you guys. I'm still trying to figure out how to record this. There we go. That is such a pretty color, you guys. Oh my god. Go ahead and scratch it on my little wrist, my little hand here, my little arm. Hold on. Okay, and here is the lipstick. Here's what it really looks like. To see the logo. Oh yes, and here's what the lipstick looks like. Rouge Tier 300, New Style Velvet. It's the color. I legit saw this at Sephora and it was like the only thing they had available. And I was like, I'll just go ahead and get it. It's very really pretty. I wonder what it looks like on, this, on my lips. Okay. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and just get started with the Pokemon cards. Let's go ahead and open this up. But I hope you guys have all had a great weekend. I know the that the um, Pokemon Billion Stars came out yesterday and Friday. And it was highly... No, not yesterday. On Friday and it's probably Saturday. It's Sunday and it's... A little late in the recording of the video, but I just want to say that I apologize. I have been so busy with work and <laughs> wrong package. Oh my gosh, <laughs> these are my vitamins. Oh my gosh, let me go grab the other. <laughs> I got the wrong one, you guys. I am like. Oh, actually sent me this whole booklet <laughs> of for life products so if you're into for life oh my gosh that is so funny here is a package you guys i have so many packages i haven't opened up just stacked together and i guess i got these confused so let's go ahead and open them up <laughs> oh my gosh only the only of these have things happen to jose i'll give you the brush who said that much story just for makeup? Oh, you see? Okay. The Elite Trainer box was... No idea how much it cost, but... Here is a pack. The Elite 
trader box is right here. And just a pack. I only ordered one. That's weird. No, I know. Next time to order the actual um <laughs> ten packs. I thought it was like ten packs, not just one of ten cards. I guess I read it wrong. Whatever. Okay, so Pokemon didn't mess up. I did. Anyways, this is what the yellow trainer box looks like, you guys. Here you can see. There's RC has been in stars, Pokemon centered, but I mean Pokemon centrally trainer box. So I guess it's a special one. All that comes inside this little box. And I just Okay, so here's the Elite Trainer Box, you guys. This is what the Elite Trainer Box looks like. I need to figure out how to record this. It's too much. Inside. This is what the Elite Trainer Box looks like from afar. This is what the Elite Trainer Box looks like, you guys. It looks like from the back. Just go ahead and open this up so we can start opening up what we encounter in the, the set. First, let's go ahead and open up the little one. So the little one's going to be of a shaman. It's all a great weekend. I know this video is coming out super late. I've just been so busy. Like, I apologize to y'all. Where is the code card, y'all? And we have a dark energy. We have Friends in Galar, a Weavile, a Fracture, Halucha, we have a Buzil, a Gibble looking super cute, a Trap Pinch, oh it's so cute, Look, looking all happy, a Cast Form, and Baltic for the Reverse, and we have a Marpeco V. Oh, that is an awesome card, you guys. Look at that. Our first official pack we ever opened up from the Brilliant Stars collection. We, hey, we gotta start, we get a hit. Okay, now let me go ahead and open up this box. Let me go grab the elf blush. I mean, brush, the elf brush.
I'm pretty sure by this point y'all have seen so many Ellie Trainer box openings and oh, I'm loving the design of this. It looks much more like beautiful and so like well thought out. Okay. I know y'all have seen this before. Oh yeah, I am loving this Elite Trainer box. This is beautiful. Look at the design, the holographic. It's so beautiful. So what's inside, you guys? Here we have... Oh, an actual little case. I didn't know this at first. A little divider thing. You know, it comes and separates everything. Ah, oh, those stupid, ugly mats. Please. Pokemon, get it together, girl. Here's the code card, you guys. The energies. Dividers. I don't love the dividers so much. I can't lie. Ooh, a little beast. What's the point of the little pen? It's super cute. I've been seeing this everywhere. Is it a magnet? I can't do any more. Okay, here we have the 10 pack of cards. A little rule book. Oh, and a huge one, you guys. Oh, that's awesome. That is an amazing thing. Okay. Here we have a 10 pack of cards, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go ahead and open up this Charizard. Oh, I wish I had my fingers. I do not know where they're at. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here is the code card, you guys. Did I talk about this perfume I've been wearing? I've been wearing this um, Violet Parfum. It, is, uh, it smells so good. But it's literally all I've been wearing. So this is what I've been wearing for long, for like all week long. For like, this is the moment I bought it. This is what I've been wearing. And it's the YSL why the parfum this is going to be 3.3 or 3.4 ounces and it's a beautiful bottle the bottle is nice the fragrance i just love it's like uh, this smells super good like literally if i had a man and he was wearing this i would be forever stuck with him this is just so sexy on a man like uh, if you're a guy you would smell good get that one okay where were we First card we have here is the brown card, Morgrim, Arsul, Isarolus, Primamission, Sigalith, a Burmy, oh I love Burmy, those are so cute from the Sinner region, a Rayulu, a Magmar, why does it look so cute? That's cute. This fragrance. I know it, the price is very expensive, but don't let that scare you. It is really good. I am really, really loving it. The imp, the, the actual, like a beat for the reverse. And we have a Grim Snarl. Oh, it smells so good. Like, I love Dior Elixir. I feel like that one beats a Dior Elixir, but I do love the Dior Elixir. Like, my car smells like a Dior Elixir. And the Dior Elixir is just smells so good amazing but i don't know i feel like a door like seriously i would wear but then i would still want like my future husband or boyfriend or whoever guy i'll be with to wear the why the parfum here is the code card but when it comes to the night i the only perfume i wear at night is going to be the mist dior or the parfum this one is going to be the 2017 version this, this one the one I only wear at night and when I before I go to bed. And I spray my bed with this. This is my all time favorite fragrance. I totally love. If you were to find it out in the wild, get it because it is discontinued. The new one, it's much more lighter. It's just, I like the older one. The older one is better, in my opinion. Here is the um, gold, yellow energy card with an exugator. I guess I like the blood orange that's in this in this one. This is the top note. Have clay doll, a mogram, a piplup. Oh, I love piplup, so cute. I have a little necklace of piplup. You see, 
my favorite Pokemon. I love it. A shroomish, why does he look so mad? Can't be mad and cute at the same time. Starly, and next to cute, a trap pinch. <laughs> it's so adorable. We have a Bidoof for the reverse, and we have a Lapras. A oh, little Lapras, super cute. Um, Next one we have is of a. I don't really know this Pokemon. I am so sorry, guys. Is it not creamy? No. I don't know the name of this Pokemon. If you're wondering what mascara I am wearing, I'm wearing the YSL Big Big Clash mascara, and it's gonna be right here. I do love this mascara. It's very nice. It's very clumpy at first, but you have to like figure it out. You have to like brush your lashes before you apply it onto your onto your lashes. So it's a great mascara, in my honest opinion. Here is the code card, you guys. I did read the reviews that people like, not reviews, but the comments of where people are posting like on their official website or official Instagram post. People are saying that looks clumpy AF and like, I don't, why would they take pictures like this? I feel like they're showing the actual product. They're not lying to you. Like, this is what the mascara looks like on their Instagram post and this is what you're getting. So there's like no, no lies there. Anyway, so green energy card, we have a pot helmet. Alexio, Collapse Stadium. Oh no, it reminds me of like the Roman ruins, Spirit Ruins, <laughs> the Colosseum in Roman in Rome. Clink, Sneasel, a Turtwig. Look, it's adorable. A Piplup again for the Piplup, and a Burmy for the reverse. And then we have Professor's Research. Why? Why is this card back in here? I don't understand why this Pokemon keep doing this. Um. These re these old cards, like no oh, Pokemon. Who is designing these cards? And who's giving the approval? Here's the code card, you guys. And we have a dark energy, a Tropius. Oh, I love Tropius. An Ultra Ball, a Crawdon. A Gibble, looking super cute and mighty. A Buzel. A Halucha. An Electabuzz. A Be... Oh, excuse me. A Bidoof. A Warmadam. And then for the, for the rest of her, we have a Nessie Q. Oh, looking so cute. Look at Q. We have another Charizard, you guys. I'm supposed to go out tonight, but I'm hoping my friends don't hit me up. I do not want to go out. I just want to stay home and chill, you know? Oh. Card a card. We have a water energy card. What's up with these logos? Like, design, like, they should at least make these sparkly. That would be amazing. We have a Bear Tick, Sharon's Care, a Prim Plop. I love Prim Plop too. Super cute. A Shroomish, super cute. A Thro. A Cast Form. <laughs> that trap pinch picture is super adorable. And a Gibble. A Magma Bastion for the reverse. And then we have a Manaphy. Oh, look, it's so cute. Rain splash out of the attack. And it also comes kind of like the wave feel, you know, prevents all damage done to your bench Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, smart move. And I don't even play Pokemon like that. But that seems like a very smart move. We have a Shaman. Oh my gosh, my nail is looking like crud. I did this yesterday. I just started to change the color. And I'm thinking about myself, you know. Oh my gosh. I have a Hidden Fates Elite Trainer box. I should film an opening of that. Or should I just save it? Let me know in the, comment, in the comments below, you guys. Should I should open up the Hidden Fates Elite Trainer box or not? It's been a while since I've opened a Hidden Fates Elite Trainer box. Are they still available out in the wild? I haven't seen any Pokemon cards out in the wild except for that one night where I had a, like... Oh, what's this? 
of these Star Wars sets, the first box. What's this? I'm confused. Uh, Michael Basson, hit him on top. Flexio. A Shinx. A Grimer. A Dust Coal. A Farfetch. Oh, it's such a cute little drawing. A Didene. A Fracture. And then we have an XQ. What? What is this for? What is the purpose of this, you guys? Let me know in the comment section. I don't know what this is. I think it's mostly used for like the battle, right? When you're battling Pokemon cards, you can probably use that card as to pull out the V-Star cards. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Here's the code card. We have a Metal Energy. Kindler, Double Turbo Energy, a Torco, a Buzel, a Lucha, Electabuzz, another Bidoof, looking super cute, Clefairy, a Haxorus for the reverse, and we have a Luxray. Okay. So far, I haven't put any great pulls with these. Hopefully, our luck changes. Here's an Arceus. Card, card, you guys. We have a purple energy card. Plunder, pol blunder policy. Apache <laughs> is super adorable. I love him. Marnie's pride. Cub chew. A milseri. Nose pass looking super adorable. No but A ball toy. Took off for the reverse, and we have oh, a Moltres. That is an epic looking card. Oh my gosh. For some reason, I just heard the that Moltres sound from Pokemon 2000. No, does it ring a bell? Like, they're just flying around attacking the, the orange islands. Oh my gosh. Next, we have is a Vay Charizard. Oh, am I crazy? Am I the only one that thought that? No? Okay. Or was that Articuno? I don't remember. It was one of those two. Here's the code card. And then we have a Fire Energy card, you guys. Cynthia's Ambition. Klung. Barry. Grimer. <laughs> it's so cool. And execute their faces. And we have a far fetched. A shink. Look, at it's playing. Looking super adorable. I love it. Do they have shinks plushies? I need to buy one. Look at my little peak, little people up. Super cute. Cup chew. And have a cafe master. Okay, little cafe master. Oh, and a Mewtwo. Okay. Let's go back to the club master. The cafe master. His face. It's like he's all posing. Uh, now on coffee. You got one a Dutch Bros. Ice. What do you call it? Something kicker. Uh, something kicker by Dutch Bros. Last pack we have, you guys, of a Charizard. Will we have anything amazing in this, pool, in this little pack of cards? Who knows? Let's figure it out. Here is the code card, y'all. Mm hmm. Code card. And we have a Dark Energy, a Blunder Policy, Pachirusu, Marnie's Pride, Shroomish, <laughs> Piplup, Trapinch. You know, I filmed the Boxy Charm video and I haven't uploaded it. I think I'll upload that for this Wednesday. And let me just tell you guys, there are amazing products I am wearing to this day, still on my face, not on my face, but like, uh, for my hair, I'm wearing something in the BoxyCharm video, 
and I've been loving this hair product. I've been loving what I got in that. One of the, by far, one of the best Foxy Chum videos, well, products I've gotten in a long time. So you guys, make sure to stay tuned for that. So if you want to see that Foxy Chum video, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button. Tear Twig, Gable, a Golurk, and then a Breloom. Oh, super adorable just sitting there. That's a very great picture. Super cute. Okay, Jenny's, and that's it for this. My first Elite Trainer box from Brilliant Stars. I hope you guys had a great time watching me open this amazing box. I'm actually loving the design of some of these cards, but I'm not exactly liking the pulls because the pull ratios were kind of horrible in a way. And I don't like a sour post, but it's just not it. So it's like for 50 bucks, I expect at least four hits. You know what I mean? But then I think I should be complaining because that one pack that we did get gave us a great pull so i don't know i have some mixed feelings about elite trainer boxes this is a reason why i no longer even buy elite trainer boxes when it comes to like i'm not because like my friend he does go out and buy pokemon cards he's like hey you want elite trainer box of food and strike battle stuff? i'm like no it's okay i'm okay because the pulls aren't like how they used to be back in the day back in the day it used to be amazing but jenny let's take care what do you think about this lipstick though just the bomb so cute i love it Okay, and this foundation I've been having on since like seven in the morning. Almost yeah, it's seven, almost eight in the morning. I've been having it on. This is not the new Dior foundation. This is gonna be one of their old foundations. It's gonna be the Dior Forever no, Forever Undercover Foundation, one of their most um full coverage foundations. And I know that it's getting discontinued, but I do love it. It's amazing. It's very skin like. Okay, Jenny, take care. Have a good one. Here, see you later. Bye.